Hello my dear students. I'm sure you all are staying safe at home, spending some quality time with your parents and family members. I'm sure you are utilizing this time in pursuing your hobbies too. I would like to share an interesting hobby that is gardening. Gardening you all would have seen, maybe your mothers too would be growing many plants at home. The moment you hear the word gardening, you will understand or you will imagine many pots of plants. You just water them, keep it under the sun and you get beautiful flowers and fruits of your choice. Now in today's video, I would like to share a different way of gardening wherein you need not have to work much. You all know that we grow the plants <clears throat> by sowing the seeds in the soil. Soil is an important natural resource for the growth of the plants. Now, I am I'm going to show you a method wherein we are not using the soil at all. Yes, you heard it right. We are not using the soil here. Instead, we just use water for the growth of plants. I was really fascinated when I saw when one of my neighbors was growing plants by this method. Now, this method is being given the term hydroponic method of growing plants wherein the plants just grow with the help of water. I would like to show you what are the materials necessary for the growth of plants by this method. You can surely try this at home. <clears throat> I have taken a handful of methi seeds. Uh, methi seeds are also called as fenugreek seeds or in Kannada it is called as mintya kalu. A handful of seeds, you have to soak them for a day and you all know that during your snacks periods, weekly ones, you get sprouts. Similarly, how your mother prepares the sprouts, the same way these methi seeds are also allowed to sprout. Along with that, <coughs> you will need something like this. This is called a container with porous holes. Okay? You can either use a plastic one or you can use a steel one. Along with that, a container to you to just fill water <clears throat> now remember the water which you are using here must be the filter water the water which you usually drink at home okay so I have the filter water with me I have a vessel to keep the water and a perforated or porous container which is used for the growth of plants so once you soak the methi seeds and bring the sprouts for them you have to transfer these seeds into this setup. Okay, so right now I have not filled any water here. But when you are doing it, you have to fill this container with filter water. And you just have to keep the porous container on top of this. And soaked sprouted seeds have to be spread on this. Next, what you have to do is just go on sprinkling some water on top and cover this whole setup with moist cloth this you have to continue for about a week until you see tiny leaves coming from the seeds now the moment you see the leaves coming from the seeds you can uncover the cloth and keep the whole setup under sunlight for about four to six hours per day okay now I have beautifully grown methi leaves with me I hope you all can see it very clearly yes this method actually as you can see this plastic container is actually porous the methi seeds were actually soaked for a day they were sprouted and they were sprinkled on this with water in this that is filter water and you have to cover it with moist cloth wait until tiny leaves appear and after the leaves appear when you keep it every day for four to six hours in sunlight this is after about 15 days you can see beautifully the leaves have grown and I'll show you how the roots have grown under the container isn't it exciting children now this is a simple method wherein we are not using any soil instead all the things are available at home remember one thing you have to change this water every two to three days 
okay so by doing this you all know that we are facing a very difficult time now and it is not very easy to step out of the house and it is also very important that you stay healthy to keep your immunity strong and your immunity is strong only when you eat all such green leafy vegetables so all these seeds for example that is the methi seeds you can grow all the green leafy vegetables by this method you can use even the wheat to grow the grass wheat grass which can be ground and the wheat grass can be ground and the juice can be consumed which is very good for the health similarly many green leafy vegetables can be grown this way now as we are facing a difficult time instead of going out and buying these green leafy vegetables instead if we grow it at home it will be of great help for us too so what are the advantages of this method of growing it's very simple and all the materials are easily available you are able to grow the plants just in water without any soil so you are able to grow this in a very small space and also the plants are not diseased or it is not affected by any pests say for example the rats or any insects or animals affecting the plants so i hope this method that is the hydroponic method of growing plants will definitely excite you and you will definitely grow many such plants at home and use it for you and your family stay home stay safe stay indoors thank you